In this uh, movie, I want to show you how to use uh, SVN subclips um, to both check out the assignments that uh, you will have for the course, as well as how to submit them uh, when you're done. So we're going to do this using an example that uh, is uh, being used for, for one of the course assignments. It'll basically happen the same way for you. Okay, so one of the first things we need to do is we need to get connected with uh, an SVN repository. So I'm going to open a perspective and then select SVN repository exploring. And I am going to then add an SVN repository. So let me go to this one here. So it's uh, svn.csi.muohio.edu slash csc274 f11. And then uh, the way that this is going to work is typically you will go to my repository for downloading the software that you'll need. Um, and so you'll use GNAG. Uh, typically this will ask you to, uh, to authenticate and you should have read access to, uh, to these files. Once you've done that, go ahead and expand it. Uh, and we're going to download A02 for this assignment. You're going to right click on this and you're going to select export. And what this does is it takes uh, it files that are in an SVN repository, exports them to a directory. So I'm going to do that and then select an export directory. And then you can put it anywhere. I've already done it once to desktop. Actually, let me um, put it, um, let me create a folder called 274. And then I'm going to put it in that directory. OK. And then uh, click on OK. Now if I look in this directory, you'll see that there's a directory called A02. So that's, uh, that's exactly what we want. OK. So next step is to, uh, to go to our C, C++ perspective and right click and do an import. And then the option that we want to choose is existing projects into workspace. And then I want to select the directory that I just uh, added. So it's on the desktop under 274, A02. And there's actually, yeah, so it's, it's actually that one here, A02 that I want. Click on OK. And you want to make sure that this option is selected, copy projects into workspace. So click on this. Now you'll see here that uh, this is uh, this project has been included into my workspace called A02. Okay, so the next step is to, uh, after you've worked on the program and, and edited the files and whatnot, is the next step is to actually uh, submit the files to uh, to back to your own repository. This is how you're going to submit them. Uh, a an SVN directory has been created for you, and so you should have uh, the ability to, uh, to add your files. So you're going to right click on your project, and you're going to go to Team, and select Share Project, and then select SVN as the repository type. Uh, and then use an existing repository. Now, you're going to actually, uh, when you first get to this, you're going to have to give your repository location. Uh, and so instead of using GNAG, you're going to use your own user ID on this step. Um, okay, so, and a, a repository has been created for you. It exists under svn.csi.muohio.edu slash csc274 underscore f11. And then instead of GNAG, you're going to have your own uh, your own directory. Um, so once that gets in there, you can click on next. Uh, for the project project name for a folder name, you're going to select uh, use project name as folder name. Now, uh, in this example that I'm going to show you, I have to create a different folder name because I already have one existing. So I'm going to call it A02A. And then click on finish. And then this will add all those files back to the repository. Now, it's going to ask you whether or not you want to switch to the um, team synchronizing perspective. Um, select no for now. And uh, then select uh, 
right click on your project and go back to team and select commit so this is my submission to the assignment any notes that you want to provide in this uh, can go here uh, if there are any files you want to exclude you can exclude them make sure that you have your source files there if you don't put your source files in correctly then uh, your assignment will be uh, graded as uh, as a zero. Click on OK. This will check in all of your files and then you should see a change in the icons uh, for your assignment. Now you can switch back to the team synchronous, uh, the team, sorry, the SVN repository exploring version, do a refresh and the new repository should be there. And you can double check to see whether or not your files were submitted. Okay, so uh, fairly simple process. Uh, uh, you'll have to do this for every single assignment from this point forward. Um, so uh, make sure you understand uh, how to actually do this and make sure you double check whether or not your files have been su submitted properly. Uh, any files that are submitted after the deadline won't be accepted. Um, so you need to make sure you get them in on time. Anyway, that concludes this episode.